Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to demo a website I created for the CS50 web programming course called Network. For this project I had to make a website which is essentially a social media website in which users can log in, um, make posts, like each other's posts, follow each other, and so on. So I'm going to show how I um, fulfilled all of the criteria. So the first specification was the ability to create new posts. So users who are signed in can create new posts. So when a user signs in, they have this uh, box for making a new post that's available at the top of the all posts page, which is the default view. And um, they can create a post. So I'll show an example. So when you click post, the post appears on the client side. And also just to show that it was recorded at the server level, um, refreshing the page still maintains the post there. So that's a new post. The next feature in the specifications was all posts, which is the page I'm already on. So the all posts page essentially shows um, all of the posts that have ever been made on the site by the various users of the page and shows their um, name, the timestamp, the content, and the number of likes that the post has. The next feature is profile page. So if I click on anyone's uh, username, it shows me all of the posts that they have made in the past in reverse chronological order with likes and contents and so on. Um, and it also shows the number of followers they have and the number of people they follow. Um, and if you're signed in, you can also follow or unfollow them. So in this case, if I unfollowed, Isaac now has zero followers. If I follow, he has only one follower. And each of these follow and unfollow actions are recorded at the server level as well. Next, oh, before I go there, um, the, this page is of course only available. So for example, I can look at my own profile, but I don't have the follow unfollow option. And if I was logged out, I can't um, follow or unfollow anyone. The fourth feature is pagination. So all posts, no matter which page you're looking at, they only display um, 10 at a time. So you have to click next and then you can see the other posts that other users have created. And this is true for um, a theoretical user that might have more than 10 posts. In this case, um, I don't have any user like that, but pagination works across all of the views. The next feature is the ability to edit posts. So to edit posts, I need to be logged in. And let's see. So, you, so the logged in user can only edit their own posts, of course. Um, so maybe I want to edit this post. And if you click edit, you get the ability to edit. And if I click Save Changes, it disappears and appears at the top here. And that's because um, the date, the timestamp I'm using here is the time last modified. So it has to, uh, the correct place for it to come is in the top now. And again, this is not just at the client side. The editing is done at the server level as well. Finally, the last feature is the ability to like or unlike. Uh, oh, so I think I forgot the following. So the following feature is if you click following, then you get to see all of the people you follow and their posts. And again, um, you see it in a paginated fashion as well. So that's the following feature. And it's just a limited uh, subset of the all posts. And then the last feature was liking and unliking, and you can do it from any view. So I could like this post, I could unlike this post. and it is uh, recorded at the server level as well. The likes and unlikes are preserved. So that is all for the, uh, the network project. I hope you enjoyed watching it just as much as I enjoyed coding it. Thank you so much for watching.